What is up my dudes, Kevin here, I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 online video And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the current best way to earn a ton of money in Red Dead Online Now I know there's a lot of new methods going around there, but this is the current best one I've come across So, if at any point you guys enjoy this or it's helpful, you know the deal, drop a like down on the video Because it helps the channel grow greatly And let me know in the comments what kind of methods have you guys been using There's a whole bunch of new methods out there, so I'm curious to know Other than that guys, make sure you subscribe, and let's get right on into this you guys might have seen in my previous video, we were at the same location, and there's a ton, a ton of pike at this spot. But in that video, we were doing it in a way that maximized XP earned, and not a way that maximized the money earned. So in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys. Now, there's a few ways you can do this, and I'm sure many of you guys have seen the deer carcass method, which has been going around lately, where basically you grab a deer carcass, you find a very shallow area of water, you're going to put the deer carcass in that water, and this is going to cause the fish to swim over to the carcass, but the problem is, well not the problem, the good part is that the fish die as soon as they hit the shallow part of water because there's not enough water for them to live. Now, the issue with this method is it mainly only works in areas where there's small fish. Because where there's big fish, it's usually deeper waters and that method doesn't work, such as this spot. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of fish swimming around. Now that wouldn't work here, they would swim up to it and they wouldn't die. Now the only ways you could kill them would be to shoot them, blow them up, throw knives at them, or whatnot, but... There is another way you can do that. So basically what we're going to do today, guys, is combine two money-making methods together to create the ultimate money-making method as a whole. So to start things off, let me show you guys the most basic way to do this. And then after this way, I'll show you guys the way you can farm this in massive amounts. You guys want to head on to the northern part of Van Horn Trading Post right here on the map, guys. Now once you're here, you'll come across this water. If you don't see any ripples, wait a couple seconds and they'll appear. Usually takes a couple seconds for the fish to spawn in, but once they do, oh boy, there's a lot of them. Now to start things off, I'm going to show you the most basic way to do this. So, of course, go ahead and grab your deer carcass, bring them down to the edge of the water, and make sure you place them half in the water, half not in the water. Kind of like that. And as soon as he's in the water, hop in the water as well. Go slightly in front of the deer, but not too close to it. Right about here should work. At this point, just start waiting for the fish to come by. It looks like we have a big guy coming through right here. So let him approach the deer, and as soon as he gets to the deer, well, you want to kick him out in the head and knock him onto the shore. So I'll show you in a second. So as he gets close, right here, now just run. Get that boy onto the shore. And there you go. As you can see, oh, I missed him at first. There we go. But as you can see, they die in their three stars. They're unharmed, undamaged. You get the perfect northern pike. So you're going to get the max amount of money from this guy. Basically, just pick him up, throw him on your horse. And there you go. Now that you guys have seen the most basic way to do this and what you need to do in general to get these fish on the shore, I'm going to show you guys a more efficient way and how you can get a tons of fish and a ton of money in one run. So to do that, you want to get yourself a cart like this and make sure it's a bucket wagon. You do not want one of those large carts because the back of those, they open up and all your stuff will fall out and you'll be wasting your time. But it has to be this kind of cart and make sure it's empty inside. Now to get these carts, you can literally go right here on this road. That's the great part about this spot. During the morning time, you'll see a lot of carts going back and forth to this area, and they're mainly all bucket carts, so it's very convenient, super easy to get one. And once you have one, back it on up to a ridge like this. It's very important that you do so, because, well, let me let me actually show you. All right, so we got one of the fish that we caught, and if you notice, you can't hop up there with the fish in your hand. So there's no way to get it into the actual cart. What you need to do is go to the back of it, and you can just hop right on up. Just like that. And once you're there, drop them on in. And there we have it, the two ones that we've already caught loaded on up. But I would wait to the very end to load all your fish in because sometimes if you go away from the cart, the fish will glitch and they'll fall to the bottom. And then you have to redo it. So there's no point in putting them in one by one. Do it all at the end after you caught all the fish. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to do it. Now, just like before, take your deer, throw them in the water, and let the magic happen. And the good part about using the deer, you guys could, of course, I know some people are going to say, well, why don't you just use your fishing route? Well, you could do that, but I'm sure as many of you have noticed, when you use your fishing rod in locations, you seem to fish out the area and the fish just stop coming for whatever reason. And also, let me adjust my deer. If the fish aren't coming, simply adjust your deer. It's probably not deep enough in the water or it's probably too deep. But as I was saying, when you're fishing, a lot of times you'll outfish the area and the fish will be gone. You have to go to a new spot. But with using the deer, the fish seem to come at a steady pace once you find the correct spot. And you can get one, put them on the shore. By the time you go back, there's already one swimming over. So you can just do it nonstop over and over as many times as you want. So that's the benefits of using a deer over the fishing rod. So here we go. We got one of them heading over. 
Now you can either wait in the water and come behind them and knock them in, or just stay on the coast. And you're gonna have to whip around and knock him onto the shore. Same as before, guys. So here we go. He's getting close. He's getting close. Now this is when we're gonna ambush him. Come here, boy. Kick him on the head. Drop a little flying knee or whatever. You know, whatever you want. You're gonna start swimming on the shore like that. It might get a little buggy at times, but hey, just keep at it. Keep knocking them onto the shore, and soon enough, they're gonna die like that. We got a musky this time. So at this spot, you get muskies and northern pikes. We get a little variety. Both super good fish. There we go. Pile them on up. Head back on over to our deer. And like I said, guys, see, once you find the right spot, by the time you go back, there's going to be more there. So let me knock this guy on the shore. Come here, buddy. There we go. Oh, I might have missed him a little. But oh, nope, we're covered. Got him. So there we go. See, see what I mean by it gets a little glitchy? Just keep doing it until they die. They will die eventually. There you go. Got another musky. Let's pick him up. There we go. So we have, what do I have in total? So I got three there and I have two in the cart. So we have five already. And that's, guys, this is a pretty short amount of time. And holy crap, look at the amount. See, if you were fishing, this number would start decreasing. But because we're using the deer method, I mean, they just keep coming and coming. Now, sometimes the fish will shift over slightly. And all you have to do is literally pick up your deer, bring them to where you see they are, drop them back in. They'll head on over. See, as soon as I dropped them in, that big one started heading over, guys. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we got two of them coming, two of them. I should be able to knock him in pretty easily from this side. There we go, got him. Oh, nope. Come here, boy. There we go. Now we got him. See that? <laughs> it glitches a little bit sometimes. All right, let's grab this one. This one is a Northern Pike. All three stars. So, guys, this is my favorite spot by far. We use this for the XP video with the dynamite in these fish. Now, of course, the dynamite decreases the value a lot, so I wanted to make sure that I came back to this spot and showed you guys an effective way you could use these techniques. This combines the deer technique plus the good old-fashioned walking the big old fish onto the shore. You guys probably remember that from a couple weeks ago people were doing it. So combining these both together gives you pretty much the ultimate way to make money. Now, also, a quick note, guys. You want to do this alone. You don't want to do this with a group of people. I tried to do this with my good friend, Outlaw Gary. But when you're with a group of people, it seems to mess up the spot a bit. It becomes very glitchy. There'll be a ton of fish there, and all of a sudden, they'll just disappear whenever the other person returns. So definitely, this is a solo thing you guys want to do. Um, it just doesn't seem to work well with groups. Definitely do this alone. Come here, buddy. Oh, flying knee. He's done. Yeah, this one's done. Got him on the first try. So I believe this is our seventh fish. Let's do three more, and then I'll, I'll, sh I'll bring these into town to show you guys what these go for, of course. Like I said, you can do as many as you want. You could fit, uh, you could easily fit 20 in here. Easily. So I'm going to go ahead and get these last three. What the heck? I don't know what is this fish is doing. What the? We just had like a, a demon fish come up from underground and it just disappeared. But what I was going to say is I'm going to get these last three fish real quick. And then I'll show you guys where to bring them. Sell them. Show you guys how much money you're going to get. And uh, that will be that. Once you guys got all the fish that you need or all that you want, start loading up your cart. Like I said, backing on up to a ridge to a spot where you can just hop on up. You might have to adjust it here and there. But once you guys find the right spot, it's going to work smooth like butter, just like this. It'll just step right on in. There we go. I'm going to keep loading this bad boy up. We'll fill it all the way up. And I'll take it on into the nearest butcher. Take a look at these prices. And hey, this was pretty simple in a matter of minutes. We got 10 pike and muskies combined. So that's what 10 fish in the back of the cart look like. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of extra space in the back. So <laughs> if you guys really want to, you can load this up with at least 30, 40 fish. Obviously, that's going to take a lot more extra time. And you put yourself at risk of wasting all that time because, well, you can get griefed. On top of that, guys, you can also take the deer with you if you want to sell that as well. Just throw it on your horse. Tell your horse to follow you. And you guys can sell that for some extra cash on top of that. Depending on how good the quality is, you'll obviously get more money. So whistle your horse to follow you, and we're going to be on our way, boys. Yeah. Okay, what the heck? I don't know what the heck my horse was doing there. All right, we made it on safely to the butchers. At this point, you're going to want to start unloading the fish from the back of the cart. I would recommend that you put one in your hands, one on your horse, so you can do two at a time. Do this quicker and avoid anybody messing with you. So let me hop on up. I'm going to start grabbing fish out of here. We got a muskie. Let's try to get a pike. So I, get, I can show you guys both prices in comparison. Go oh, northern pike. Get my horse on over here and let's talk what to the butcher. The first fish we have is the muskie, and that goes for seven dollars seventy-five cents each. That's the three-star muskie. That's big money right there, guys. For that easy of a catch, we didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to spend anything. Let me sell that. 
And next, we got the Northern Pikes, which go for $8, so slightly more than the Muskies. Not that huge of a difference, $70, $75, and $8. Pretty similar, but very good money in total. Let's compare that to some smaller fish, for example, the Rock Bass, which is a dollar each. And you can only hold 10 of these at a time. So that would be $10 max from this specific type. But if you compare that to the Pike, which is $8, I mean, one fish compared to 10 fish? Guys, this method it definitely blows the other ones out of the water. But other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and keep selling these fish until I sold them all. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys go and try this. Let me know in the comments how it works out for you. If you have any questions or concerns, I'll see if I can help you out. Other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.